Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Book Review and Summary. Book Review and Summary number 31. Lean In by Sheryl Sandberg. The book is an account by Sheryl Sandberg, one of the sought after leaders in Silicon Valley, about the issues she faced being a female in a highly male dominated industry and what she thinks needs to be done to counter this. Sheryl Sandberg is an American business executive, CEO of Facebook and the founder of leanin.org. She became the first woman to serve in the board of directors for Facebook. The book's title is Lean In and by this she wants women to be more ambitious in their careers. According to her, the biggest problem that women face in this competitive arena is themselves. I was surprised to read about the tale of Cheryl's grandmother who lived in an era of inequality between men and women and they were more doing household chores only. Over years though a lot of fight has happened to bring about that inequality and now women have two full time jobs to take care of one professionally one at home. Having forced to juggle between the two there is a leadership ambition gap and maybe in the next generation this problem should go away says Sheryl Sandberg successful women also get into this imposter syndrome because the appreciation for their good work doesn't often come this syndrome is is when even after doing quality work the person feels like a fraud and not belonging this happens primarily because of the people surrounding us and what they have to say about the kind of work that we do Women should fight for their seat in the table and feel proud about the work that they do. More than the people surrounding them judging them, Cheryl says that the women themselves don't take pride in the work they do. There is a case study discussed about how a person successfully built a company and led it to do great things. Two groups were given the case. One of them found the leader to be Heidi and the other Howard. All the results are the same. Heidi was disliked by the group. and was quoted to be arrogant and howard was called a leader success does not always generate likability amongst female readers this forces women to keep the victory and success to amongst themselves and not celebrate about it women should look at their career growth not as a ladder but as a maze to navigate and move forward and since women have to deal with child rearing etc sometimes there is a lag in their career and hence treating it as a maze and moving forward is the best way to approach this mentorship is overstated and too many women wait for the right mentor and keep looking for him or her rather one should continue doing the good work and the work in itself will ensure the mentor will find you and support you sometimes it is very important women talk about the issues and challenges openly with their bosses that they face at workplace and try to resolve it be taking up new roles when they are pregnant or the remarks made at them when they leave office early to care of take care of their children etc rather than fuming over these and not to anything about it it needs a open conversation and a desirable solution to be found spouses have to play a significant role in the case of women wanting to be successful in workplace and at home a lot of sacrifices are generally made by women to move geographies leave jobs when men try to progress ahead in their careers how do we balance these and make and can make take the role of being the parent to take care of the household etc needs to be explored finally there is this open gender bias that is prevalent in workplaces and subtle differences in terms of ambience and meeting places favoring male employees which is being discussed slowly companies are moving towards gender neutral workplace premises and policies but a lot of work needs to be done here there are a lot of female ceos coos and uh, in other key positions across global companies while they try to rally around this topic and are trying to bring about a revolution a lot of work needs to be done at a grassroots level Cheryl keeps talking about how she is fortunate to have born in a country which at least discusses about women equality while in a lot of other parts of the world the situation is still grim what are the key takeaways from this book 
Number one, women inequality is a topic across the developed and developing worlds. It's just a matter of time lag between the two on the different maturity states are in. Number two, Cheryl had to call out to Sergey and Larry for a dedicated parking spot for pregnant women in Google after which it was set up. A lot of women need to be in positions of power to make their voice heard. Number three, while the environment and the parameters need to change, one of the problems discussed in the book about women equality is around women restricting their ambition or not being proud about it. Cheryl calls it the leadership ambition gap. With that, we come to the conclusion of another episode of Book Review and Summary. I'll catch up with you, with you in another interesting episode with another interesting book. Thank you.